should you buy the JBL Pulse 4 today in 2020? After all, it's been what, six months since the release of the JBL Pulse 4, but I actually think it depends and here's why. From the get go, there's no denying that this thing is a beautiful piece of tech. And if you have watched any of my previous videos I made on it, you might remember that I mentioned how it was way heavier than the JBL Pulse 3, which at the time came as a surprise. And that's simply because it was built and tuned to pump out some really good sound and also look really good. Oh, by the way, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It's a huge boost to the channel and I truly appreciate your support of the channel here. So going back to that design, I can't seem to ignore the unit itself in its all around acrylic body here which is actually prone to scratches and dents, but it's okay. It's just like it was the case on the JBL Pulse 3, which I still very much like. Now, this thing has been really good. It's been great for the past six months. It's loaded with Bluetooth 4.2, which even though it's a very solid connection, it provides a solid and steady connection. I would have preferred to have Bluetooth 5.0 on this thing. We have USB type C part for charging, which is a pretty nice upgrade from the previous gen, and it actually helps charge it faster. As far as audio or sound goes, the Pulse 4 has a significantly nicer or crispier sound when compared to the JBL Pulse 3, and that's just based off of my testing. The highs are pretty clean and pretty crisp. You can really, really hear them really, really clean when compared to the Pulse 3, which at high volumes seem to be a little bit muffled. Here the mids and the lows sound even cleaner and the bass does hit on here. Although I feel it is somewhat on par with the JBL Pulse 3, but I could be wrong, it may just be my hearing. Either way, it is an overall louder and nicer speaker. Now as far as battery goes, I get decent battery life out of this thing, roughly 9 hours versus 12 hours battery life that JBL actually advertises, which is now about an hour less than I used to get when this thing was brand new. But then again, this is just very subjective. It truly depends on your usage. I personally use it, I'm all over the place with my usage. Sometimes I use it really high volume, sometimes it's just medium volume. And when I use it at high volume, if I do like 100% volume, the thing would actually last barely three hours for some reason. Because I have no doubt that the battery cycles are starting to go down on it. One of the things that JBL always advertises is just the fact that you can connect up to 100 JBL speakers. But the thing is, if you have party boost, you can only connect to other party boost speakers. So we don't have that many and it's not backwards compatible for you to be able to connect that to Connect Plus speakers. So the previous generation. So that's one of the biggest thing I hate. One of the biggest things I hate about party boost, which also means my favorite speaker to use, which is the JBL Pulse 3. I can't even connect that to the Pulse 4 simply because they're two generation, they're two separate generations. I would have really loved to connect party boost to connect plus and be able to play both at the same time and do like a left and right speaker, but I'm unable to do that. And my hope has always been for JBL to come up with a way to do that, maybe software update to be able to have the speaker be backward compatible with a previous gen, but I know I'm just dreaming. The other thing I hate here is that the audio jack is gone, so I couldn't even use it with an external audio source if I wanted to. Anyways, here's my take on this one. If you are in the market for this particular speaker, I think you should really make sure that you're not planning on buying any previous generation speakers in order to connect or use Connect Plus or Party Boost in order to get multiple speakers playing the same audio. So essentially, if you are in the market for a very nice speaker that has beautiful light show with you know fantastic and very crisp sound, this would be the speaker to go for, the JBL Pulse 4. Again, you have to keep in mind that if you buy that, the only way to connect with other speakers and be able to play all of them, to play your audio and all of them simultaneously, would be to buy speakers of the same generation. You can't really go backwards. However, if you are looking for a cheaper speaker and at the same time you want to be able to connect that speaker to other speakers, or let's say you want to buy two cheap speakers or three cheap speakers and be able to use all three of them at the same time, then you are better off going with the previous generation, which is of course the JBL Pulse 3. That with the use of Connect Plus will allow you to 
connect to other speakers and be able to play your sound simultaneously in all three or however many you want to buy. And again, as I mentioned, they are generally cheaper because there's a new generation of speakers for sale. And I hope this helps you in your purchasing decision. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, of course, and I'm going to catch you in the comment section and also in the next video. Until then, peace.